the S&P 500 just ended a three weeks losing streak and posted a positive return. This helped to raise a good chunk of the losses from the previous week. Google and other tech giants are making an unexpected comeback. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the performance for the week, plus which companies to look for next week as earnings season continue. All in today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,099.26, up 2.7% from last week. The P ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 27 68, up 0.72 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. Nvidia is up 288.4 billion or 15.1% on increased speculations ahead of earnings. The company also purchased software provider RunAI. Alphabet up 223.4 billion or 11.5% after the company delivered fantastic earnings results and guidance. Tesla up 67.6 billion or 14.4%. The company missed estimates but CEO Elon Musk reiterated the upcoming robo taxi announcement. Apple up 66.4 billion or 2.6% after the company announced the May 7th event where we expect to see new hardware. Broadcom is up 64.6 billion or 11.6% as the company benefits from the VMware acquisitions, enraging some customers. Moving to the losers, Meta is down 102 billion or 8.3% as the company provided disappointing guidance and increased AI spend. IBM is down 13.3 billion or 8% following reports that the company will acquire cloud computing firm HashiCorp. AbbVie down 12 billion or 4.1% after disappointing earning results and guidance. Intel is down 9.9 billion or 6.8% after the company posted disappointing Q1 2024 results and a weak outlook. Bristol Myers Squibb down 8.3 billion or 8.3% after the company also posted disappointing Q1 2024 results and a weak outlook. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500 index. So how to use the information we just covered? Currently, Meta presents a good entry price because the company has dropped significantly following its earnings results. 166 companies will release earnings during the week ended May 3rd, 2024. And most interesting will be Amazon on April 30th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report 83 cents EPS on 142.54 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Eli Lilly on April 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $2.49 EPS on $8.93 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Coca-Cola on April 30th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $0.70 cents EPS on $10.97 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. MasterCard on May 1st at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $3.24 EPS on $6.34 billion of revenue on their Q1 2024 results. Linda on May 2nd at 6 a.m. Eastern Time expected to report $3.67 EPS on $8.39 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Apple on May 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time expected to report $1.51 EPS on $90.61 billion of revenue for their Q2 2024 results. ConocoPhillips on May 2nd at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time expected to report $2.08 EPS on 50 15.01 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Which company do you think will top the list next week? To find out why Nvidia, Apple, Microsoft and Amazon dropped last week, you should watch this video next.